Hi, I'm Mike Randall from The Physics Experience. Today we're going to talk about light. and Specifically, we're going to talk about modern physics. Now, modern physics is where Sir Isaac Newton got it wrong. Now, Sir Isaac Newton is widely regarded as the father of physics. He came up with a lot of great ideas about how the world works, including a lot of ideas about how things move, and a lot of ideas about how light worked. And for 200 years, people thought his ideas about light were it. And about 100 years ago, people were doing experiments with the light, and they were getting results totally different than what Sir Isaac Newton predicted. Now, to demonstrate that, I have lasers. I have a red laser. I have a super bright green laser. And I have a wimpy purple laser. Time out, time out, time out. Lasers like these, which you might have around the house, make terrible, terrible toys. These are so intensely bright. If that shines in your eyes, it could blind you permanently. Please, please, please do not play with lasers. Do not let your friends play with lasers until you go to college and you learn how to handle them correctly and safely, like I have. Now, we also have to do this demonstration, a special screen. Now this is no ordinary screen, it's a glow-in-the-dark screen. Now you've all played with glow-in-the-dark stuff before. Before you turn the room lights out, what do you have to do to that to make sure it's gonna glow? Yeah, you gotta shine some light on it to charge it up, right? So we're gonna turn the lights out here. We're gonna try this out. By the way, if Sir Isaac Newton were here, he'd say, hey, that super bright red laser thing of yours, that is so bright that'll charge that up instantly. You know, that makes sense, right? Let's try it. Okay, off go the room lights. Let's try that red laser, okay? Hmm, 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 hmm. Hey, wait a minute. I don't see any change. Do you see any difference? Huh. Well, that was weird. Well, you know what? Maybe it's not bright enough. Let's try this super bright green laser. Okay? That's certainly bright enough to... Um, it doesn't do anything. Huh. Well, that's really weird. If Sir Isaac Newton were here, he'd be freaked out right now. Shall we try this uh, wimpy purple laser? It's the only one I got left. Oh, look at this. Self-portrait, glasses, beard, eyebrows, nose, nose hair. <laughs> yeah, that's why I became a physicist and not an artist. I'm not very good at art. But the question is why, 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 why will this wimpy purple laser leave this beautiful green glowing trail and my green and red lasers don't? This is that where that modern physics part comes in. And it took one of the smartest guys that's ever lived to figure this out, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein figured this out. He said it's not about how bright the light is, it's about how much energy is in the light. It turns out that purple light like this has more energy than green. Green has more energy than red. What we see as different colors is really different amounts of energy in the light. And because Einstein figured that out on the past 100 years or so, that's why it's called an example of modern physics. Now, some of you might be thinking, eh, big deal, modern physics. Well, do you like this video? Do you like playing with video games? Do you like playing with any kind of electronics? That's all based in modern physics, different principles of modern physics. It's a very important area of physics and really cutting edge stuff. So if you decide that someday you want to pursue that, chances are you're going to be working on some aspect of modern physics. It's really, really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Keep tuning back for more videos.